Hello again, uh, Bart Remling, Kawea River Forge. We are right below what they call the old Colony Mill Road, and uh, the Colony Mill Road was the original road into Sequoia National Park. It's now a dedicated wilderness area owned by Sequoia National Park, and uh, we come here quite often. I firmly believe this is one of the most beautiful places in the world. We're full of sycamores. Uh, moss covered boulders and a beautiful creek and if you see behind me to my left is a petroglyph and this is our favorite place called the temple. Uh, we just stumbled upon it. I've been coming here all my life uh, pretty much 40 years uh, traveling these mountains and, and enjoying this wilderness. Uh, this is where the knives come from. This is the beginning of our knives and I'm sure it'll be the end of our knives but uh, uh, they were born and bred in the high country of the Sierra Nevadas, and uh, we just love what we do. Uh, we love the history of this place, and we, we love uh, California. Despite its politics, it's, I still believe it's the most beautiful place in the world. I uh, thank you for uh, watching our video. God bless. Uh, I, designed it, I designed this knife for use in the woods here in the uh, Sequoia National Park and uh, the Sierra Nevada Mountains. The thought behind this knife was balance and a lot of the knives that you see nowadays are extremely thick and most people are using them for chopping tools and, and I just think that a knife should be used to cut with. That's my own philosophy, nothing against a thick knife. Of course it makes the knife considerably lighter and it's extremely durable this knife is not you're not going to break this knife this like I said before this is a prototype knife I've been used for a year now extremely hard it cuts extremely well all the way throughout from feather sticks to uh, using it almost as a machete and very nice knife and, and the thing that we put into the design of this knife is the extended handle and by putting a bigger pommel and an extended handle what we've done is we've made a knife with the perfect balance and it's extremely wieldy in your hand very very comfortable knife to use everybody that uses this knife loves it they come with a, a custom made sheath uh, KRF also has a leather shop we make and design our own sheaths this one can be carried as a baldric uh, on your belt as a dangler or also you know there are other options available for your belt carry if you'd like 9 10 ounce leather uh, of course we put the pine cone in there as representative of the mountains here and and the the high sierras uh, we have some rugged country here a lot of times we start out get out of our car and we head straight up it's not like uh, going back east where you're just rolling over hills we have to sometimes climb two or three thousand foot in elevation in just a short amount of time so lightness of your pack is extremely important this is my son's knife he has Will's knives uh, we we work together every day he does his thing I do mine uh, sometimes we work in conjunction and we produce these knives this is the the tribute knife. This is also a 332nds knife as opposed to the big thick eighth inch. What you're getting is a lot better slice, a lot better slicing cut. It, it works through the wood quite well. Uh, 1095 on these blades uh, because of the problems that we're having uh, getting a good 1095 anymore there seems to be a problem we're going to probably go to 01 until uh, they get the the mixture right on the 1095 again this is a 8 inch knife a lot like the wood lore and, uh, and then a lot different than the wood lore in, in different ways 11 degree scandy grind the KRF logo is of course the mountains the high sierras representative and the KRF is Kawea River Forge, which is, we are filming this right now on the Kawea River, uh, back in the wilderness area of the North Fork drainage. This is a G10, a gray and black, uh, with a green liner, extremely durable. 
My son's been using this for six or seven months now quite hard in the, in the wilderness and it's held up quite well. And as again, very well balanced knife in your hand and lighter because of the 330 seconds. We can do them in eighth inch as well. This is the tribute knife our tribute model, which is in my mind one of the best all-around knives for the forest. <clears throat> this is the Cahuilla River Forge Pack Knife, capital P-A-A-K, Personal Adventure Kit Knife, I called it. It sounds snappy. And of course, in one of our custom sheaths, this is just a plain Jane sheath, nothing fancy. We're just uh, using these to go into the forest. We can make them really fancy if you'd like. That's for future videos. And this is what I call the pack knife. The pack knife is, oh, probably a half an inch shorter than the Tribute. 330 seconds with a little bit thinner handle on this one. Extremely lightweight. Shade Tree Phenolics Herringbone. Micarta Custom. This also has a custom lanyard that we put on. Uh, we try to put a lanyard on every knife that we sell with a, some sort of a bead. A lot like uh, this brass bead quarter inch fits really well on the lanyard. Nice and tight. I believe in lanyards. Lanyards are critical especially working over water or snow where you don't want to lose your knife. You can lock that down with your bead and now if I'm working I can drop the knife, pick it back up, cut, drop the knife, tie the knot, whatever I'm doing, cut again. This is my favorite all-around knife that I carry every time I go into the woods. I don't find any need for a much larger knife for camp chores or woodworking. And, and it just fits and they're super tough. We have lots of testimonies of people using these in sub-zero uh, weather and uh, just rough environments and it's just really abusing these knives and they've held up quite well. Most of our, every knife that we have in the shop we rock well test each knife. Most knives come out to around 58, 57 which seems to be a perfect cutting edge yet maintain the durability that we have. Our knives are used, we use our knives, we don't make closet queens that can be done, but our, we would like to eventually be the Gransfers Brooks of Knives. And that is our lineup here in the forest this weekend. And just a quick overview of some of the knives that we have. This is what we call the Big Roy or the Camp Knife. This one is the Tribute Knife. This is the Pack Knife, and here's a size reference uh, on the knives and they can come in many colors and shapes with the with the handles uh, handle references uh, preferences and things of that nature can always be looked after and, and we can help suit the individual's need and we can do that as well so that's our lineup for the knives that we generally use back here in the wilderness and hope you enjoyed our video uh, these knives are my life uh, some people talk about bushcraft, we are bushcraft, and our knives are used every day, day in, day out, doing the things that we love, being in the wilderness, and, uh, and the proofs in the pudding. That's a year old knife, been used extremely hard, and is still going, and has got a whole lifetime of use left in it. That's the kind of knives I'm trying to make. Knives for guys who go out into the forest for real and really use their stuff. Not for guys who are sitting at home and pretending. This is the real deal, folks. I'm Bart Remling. I'm not going away. KRF will be some of the best knives in the world. Thank you.